Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Castle Story. I haven't played this game in a while, at the moment it is paused, which is why we have such a smooth frame rate. However, I first needed to figure out what is actually happening again. Yes, at the moment we are at this intersection here, this is an important one. Here we can go to enemy territory, there is another crystal for us to take, but it's gonna be more and more difficult if we want to block things off. Another thing that I discovered around the corner here somewhere, yeah, there we go. Here we have the enemy crystal, so maybe we can actually take down this crystal. So I'm actually not sure what is going to happen, maybe we should make a couple more warriors. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Now, what the heck is this? Is this also something Halloween themed or so? Could be. Yeah, everyone looks a little bit different at this point. Jeez, it's so funny to me when Alpha games do all of these Halloween themed updates. They should rather focus on optimization. Anyways, let's unpause for a little bit. I just want to see what is actually happening with this guy or uh, with the guys in general. Maybe something we could do is build a wall right here and set up kind of a good defense, but still leave a pathway so the mobs in general try to go through the pathway and we have some time to eliminate them. That could be an idea. This would also mean I have to set my guys up a little bit differently. Just takes too long to get rid of them and we still have a lot of people that don't have any jobs at all. So let's have a look at what we already got. We got a halfway done artificer set. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, alchemist, I'm not interested in these guys. I want to make a couple more knights. Let's actually set up two knights and then here we can do arbalist. So we're gonna do two of them as well. So we just need to wait a little bit and you can see none of my guys have anything to do at this point. Can I actually spawn someone else? Let me see. Spawn? No, not at the moment. I think I still have a couple of dead guys. So I think what we should do is build a wall right here and then we should set up a proper defense for this area and then we can push towards this side. I think that is a brilliant idea. So we first set up our guys a little bit differently. Let's hope I can do this before everyone comes and gets me. There we go, we need our healing guy and then my archer guys can come and stand in the healing zone. Oh man, this is not gonna be very easy. Check this out, my guys are just flying through the air here. Galax, you need to go back, take care of this guy. Bistro also flew through the air. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of micromanagement, I think. And Bloosh is kind of dying at this point. Bloosh, come on, you can do it, you can survive. Oh no, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> Well, let's hope this is one of the bigger attacks and this is not gonna happen like every minute. Oh, Bistro, no, we're gonna lose another guy, aren't we? Yeah, Bistro is so dead. Maybe if we run away, no, 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 I'm not gonna survive it. Ah, there we go, Bistro. Ah, yeah, he's actually healing up now. So this is a rather big attack, I have to say. They are pretty angry with my strategy. Uh, Galax, are you gonna survive this? Oh, there he goes. Okay, I think the attack stopped for the time being. Let's go ahead and set up a proper defense. I'm gonna need a couple of walls for this to work, so let's hope we can do this. Maybe we can do something here that seems to be appropriate. So we're just gonna set something up like so, and then we're gonna leave a little gap where enemies can go through, and the rest we're just gonna fill up with a proper wall, something like that. Okay, let's try to build that. Hopefully we can accomplish that. It's not gonna be the easiest of tasks. Uh, I gotta get Basil out of there. Uh, jeez, he can do it. Oh no. Ah, he's going for someone else now. Good. Come on, finish him. Oh man, this is so agonizing. Good. Okay, we already got a block in. I didn't even see anyone bringing that. But that's fine. Let's go back to our base now that we have a little pause. And we are gonna promote a couple of our guys. Let's see, uh, who has nothing to do? Huron, please take one of these Arbalist kits. No, that's an Artificer kit. Narvi, you are standing in the way. Uh, please take this Knight kit. Uh, yeah, come on. That's the spirit. And I'm gonna send her or him already over here. Um, we need more warriors. In the meantime, we are being attacked once again, constantly actually. So that's fun. Let me see, where are my arbalists? I told them to go here. Let's use Spencer. Spencer, you're gonna be my new arbalist. No, I always say arbalist, but I do mean artificer. So you're also gonna come right here. 
Oh no, another big attack. Ah, look at that. Narvi is actually here. That's great, so we can distribute those guys a little bit more evenly again. And also, I should really take away this block here. Can I please remove this? This is getting in the way. Oh, Narvi! Oh no, you're in the wrong mode. Narvi, you should be a defensive mode. Okay, slowly but surely, I have a better feeling about this. Let me actually make sure we do have enough stone at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't look like we do have a lot of it. Uh, we're still digging away, though, happily at the moment. Oh yeah, soon I also want to continue building on this structure, but at the moment... Huh, we should actually remove all of these. They're kind of in the way, to be honest with you. Let me go ahead and start deleting a couple of these guys. I don't want you to go all the way there to store stuff. Oh, I think Huron is actually trapped. How did you manage to do this? You little booger, you. Oh man, we have to get him down, so uh, let's just build something temporarily. I guess something out of wood. Uh, is this gonna be enough? No, we have to use two and one right there. Sandra, there you go. You are actually coming with me. I want you to take an arbalist kit. We need more ranged units for our defense strategy. Well, it's actually an offense strategy, but a little bit of both, I guess. Now, I think it would be wise to set up a checkpoint right here. Why the heck not? That is something that you guys suggested and I find it a good idea. So we're gonna start with a couple of storage blocks. Let me see. We could start storing stuff right here. Why the heck not? I'm gonna place at least two or maybe... Yeah, let's do three right there. And obviously that is to store our stone and being able to build this wall a lot faster and also the coming walls in the future. Anyways, another thing we can do right away is a cleaning up task right here with a rather big radius. I would say something like that, so we can clean this up. Also, we should add a repair task, same radius. Actually, it should uh, cover uh, most of the wall, I guess, along this side. What else do we need? We need a landscaping task as well. And this should be fairly large here. I want this to be all hollowed out so we get tons of stone and can actually build this rather quickly. Probably something along these lines. Yeah, let's get rid of this all and hope for the best. We already have our storage, so we are gonna set this up to accept, let me see, only stone. And this is gonna make things a lot, lot easier. Maybe I'm actually gonna build an additional storage right here if it allows me to do that. No, unfortunately not. The terrain is not even enough, but I guess we could go ahead and do this and that and that. I feel like at the moment we don't quite have enough Bricktrons. We will have to think about how much defense we really need. Like, can I defend the wall using one Artificer, two Arbalists and maybe that's it? I don't know, maybe a couple of Sentinel Wards. Hmm. At the moment they're still bringing the bricks from the home base and it's been quite a while already. It's been over five minutes and they're still doing it. Though this guy now finally sees the benefits of taking the stone right from the stockpile. Look at this idiot, he brought all the glass from the home base, then he figured out there is no space and now he just leaves them there. Little boogers. Right, this guy is my hero, Booba. He just placed three stones in a row. Unbelievable, never seen before. Now he's going for the fourth, this is crazy. Are you gonna do a fifth one? Uh, possible, oh no, I've never seen this happen. Well, that is not good, he's actually gonna break it, isn't he? He's gonna break the ground. Well, ah, there we go. He already poked a hole, but now he gave up. Well, that's interesting. And not good at all. So maybe we make this a little bit more secure by doing something like that. You know, just add a layer of extra security. Ah, now we already have to do it differently. We have to position our guys on top of this wall so we can actually take care of the guys that are poking holes. So I'm gonna add two arbalists already. Yeah, I'm gonna add a third arbalist right there and maybe a fourth one right here. Ah, this guy is poking another hole. I wonder if that is gonna damage the terrain or any of my structures here. Maybe Leo can take care of this guy. Leo? Oh, yes. That's what I like to see. Oh, he did destroy my stuff. Well, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> oh no, did they add an update where they are going for the terrain now? Because that would be awful. Let's see if we are able to fix this, maybe? Oh no, stuff is breaking! No, what are you doing? <sighs> That's not what I meant to do. Let me see, now I cannot pause the game, I did something wrong. Yeah, of course, I told them to delete the terrain, which is not what I meant to do. You should fill up the terrain. 
Uh, didn't I have four warriors? Did one die? Oh no, I might have lost the warrior already. Okay, we at least fixed the stuff right here, but we kind of have to keep this command open. So they always fix the terrain as soon as they break it. Hmm, I did really lose a warrior. I should have watched it. Anyways, let me distribute my guys a little bit. I'm gonna leave like two blocks empty and then I'm gonna have the next one. So we have a nice distribution. There we go. So now the idea is to keep these guys stationary. But the question is, will they be able to deal with a really big attack? I kind of have my doubts. But at least it's working that the enemies attempt to go over this little bit where it's actually possible and they don't have to destroy anything. Right, let's do another wall, same principle, or actually we should push towards this. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna save at this point, let's do that. This is a good progression, I want to save this state. Right, should we push? I think we should actually try it. I do have my save game in case everything goes wrong at this point, but we have this side defended and right here we are pushing towards this crystal. And then we of course also want to install a capture ward, but I'm not sure what is going to happen if a really big attack comes from this side, then we might be extremely screwed. But there we go, we are getting the crystal, let's add the structure we need, namely the capture ward. We're gonna place it right there. Good, what we could do is block off this area or we could just push through here. Why the heck not? I mean, let's actually try to capture this. I wonder what happens if we just do this. I'm just gonna go for it in case that is a wrong decision, we can always revert it. Uh, let me see, we're actually being attacked here. Well, nothing to worry about. We could even take care of a big guy. There we go. So let's go for it. Attack everyone, attack. What happens if we capture this big crystal? I wonder, this seems like a different one. Hmm, maybe we're actually gonna win this game. Let's just wait and see what happens here. We, ah, we got a neutral crystal out of it. Okay, so less exciting than I thought, but we can always place a capture ward here as well. And then I guess we're gonna come back. Let's come back through this side. And I believe they cannot spawn here anymore. I mean, we could have successfully claimed this area and can now push towards this side. And it's not looking good at the moment. The attacks are real. And I think I'm already missing an archer. Yeah, there we go. Calypso, why the heck are you here? You should be on this wall. I guess he got thrown through the air. <laughs> and we are losing an arbalist here. So the defense is definitely not enough at this point. Also, Ecto and Hugo, why the heck would you attack? You are simple workers, you shouldn't do that. Good, so I think in order to give us a breather, I'm just gonna set up all of my warriors on top of this wall. This should be enough defense to get ourselves settled down and... Oh jeez, this is actually a critical moment. Hmm, I should have been prepared for this a little sooner. Yeah, it's a problem. My guys are not really attacking, but I could also station them up here. This would actually be nice. Good, good, good. I think we can take care of this wave, though... Ah, this guy's under attack. That's not good. Planch or planchy. Get away. Uh, too much micromanagement. Where's my healing guy? My healing guy died. Jeez, oh, I hate that. Yeah, you know what? Let's replay the last five minutes. Now that we know a big attack is on its way. All right, there we go. Let's set these guys up a little cozier. Everyone next to each other, actually. And we're also gonna set up a arbalist. You come here, come a little closer. Another guy here, another guy here. Come on, hug each other. Okay, there we go. Now we have plenty of guys right here lined up on the wall, which means I'm gonna go with the rest and do what we did before. We're gonna claim the crystals. Good, 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 good. Uh, should be good. So let's uh, take all of our guys. Uh, Spencer and Wes. Why the heck? Oh, jeez. They managed to destroy one of our stones. That's not good. We're gonna take our warriors, claim this crystal first of all, and I think we should be safe now. And we're also gonna replace this wall, hopefully. Yes, well done, well done, good job. Okay, let's wait for this crystal to be claimed and then we're gonna take care of uh, these two guys positioned around the other crystal, reclaim them once again, and hopefully this time we're gonna survive the big attack. Also, I shall not forget to place my capture wards right here. Let's do one and let's actually build the other one as well right there. Good. In the meantime, uh, we are taking care of the little guys. They don't come too far. That's great. We need to come back though. Where's my healing guy? Jeez, I wonder where's my healing guy again? I mean, this time I didn't let him die, did I? Maybe I did. <laughs> 
How are we holding up here? The big guys are coming. Okay, we are taking care of the first guy. Barely took any damage. That's great. Okay, let's uh, make our way back with uh, the guys. In the meantime, the warriors are claiming the crystal. That is good. And I need to get my arbalist or artificer back. Actually, set a boss. You could be our healing guy for the time being. Can I... Um, What's the deal with you? Yeah, there we go. You should be a healing guy and you should also be more centered. Well, that is too bad. I need to rearrange the guys. <laughs> but let's just wait for the time being. I'm also gonna set Pan to be a healer. I'm gonna place him or her over there. And then Spencer can go right here and help out. Hmm, I feel pretty secure at this point. Now we can push into this direction and take care of the rest of the stuff. And we're just gonna do it in a similar fashion and hopefully claim the entire land. Yeah, I feel much safer now, actually. Let's take our warriors and we're just gonna position them right there, within healing range. I'm also gonna expand the wall slightly so we can still hop over here. I think at least that should be possible still. Yeah, I like that actually. I think we were pretty successful with our offensive defense. So, congrats. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's wrap it up for today. The next time maybe we're gonna focus on building a little bit more, though I'm feeling a little unsafe with our situation. I think we might want to push through with our strategy at this point. But with that, any further ado, let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.